Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my presentation. My name is Imtiaz Ullah. I'm a PhD student at Ontario Tech University, uh, Canada. Uh, today I will be going to present my paper, a scheme for generating a data set for anomalous activity detection in IoT network. Let me start with the agenda for today's presentation, introduction, motivation, problem statement, related work, test bit architecture, result and analysis, correlated feature, feature ranking, learning curve, validation curve, classification, conclusion and future work. I would like to give you some background information about IoT. The Internet of Things incorporates physical objects from different domains and the Internet. Smart digital devices become part of our daily life. It, it improves the quality of life. It makes communication easier. IoT also increases the data transfer and information sharing. Things in IoT can be anything physical or virtual. IoT become an important technology to develop smart infrastructure and its adoption increase due to its analytics and the, in the interconnectivity of machine and personal devices. Technological challenges include security, power usage, scalability and communication mechanism, etc. The exponential growth of IoT make it smart object for a taker and the effect of these cyber attack become more destructive in the recent year. Figure 1 shows comparison of world population in the number of IoT devices that need protection against intruders. Motivation The exponential growth of IoT devices provide a large attack surface for intruders to launch more destructive cyber attacks. New techniques and detection algorithm required a well-designed dataset for IoT network. Available intrusion dataset has a limited number of features and a very limited number of flow-based features available in these dataset. Problem statement. Firstly, we reviewed weaknesses in various intrusion detection datasets. Secondly, we propose a new dataset adopted from the link given. Thirdly, we provide a significant set of features with their corresponding weight. Finally, we propose a new detection classification methodology using our proposed generated dataset. Our proposed generated dataset can be accessed from the link given. related work. DARPA 98 and 99 data cells developed at MIT Lincoln Lab. DARPA 98 contained five, seven days of network traces, while DARPA 99 contained five weeks of network traffic. Lee and Strepelop developed a framework to extract feature from DARPA 98 and 99, and the data set was named as KDD 99 data set. The KDD99 dataset is the most widely used dataset for intrusion detection. The KDD99 dataset contains TCP attributes but failed to provide information about IP addresses. KDD99 is a publicly available dataset and it contains 5 million of data instances and 20 different types of attack. But the problem with T KDD99 dataset that it has 78% redundant record in training data while 75% redundant record in testing data. So these redundant records were removed by group of researchers in University of New Brunswick uh, and the new dataset was named as NSL KDD dataset. The ISCX dataset developed at CIC University of New Brunswick uh, using systematic approach to generate normal and malicious network traffic and using multi-stage attack scenario. The dataset is publicly available but 
The disadvantage or the limitation of the data set is it has a very limited number of network features. UNSW NB15 data set was developed at University of New South Wales, Australia. It provides comprehensive modern network traffic, diverse intrusion scenario, in-depth structure network traffic information. The data set is publicly available. It has 49 features that are categorized or grouped into flow, basic content, time, additional generated feature, connection, and label features. CIC ID S2017 data set um, provide modern, normal, and malicious network traffic. It has 80 network features that provide reliable, normal, and malicious network flows. The data set is publicly available. CIC DDoS 2019 provide up-to-date normal and malicious DDoS network traffic. It consists of 12 DDoS attack. The data set is publicly available. And it provides comprehensive metadata about IP addresses. Both IoT data set. The data set was developed at the University of New South Wales, Australia via legitimate and emulated IoT network. They use a fridge, weather station, motion detection light, smart thermostat, and remotely activated garage door uh, IoT services using a node tool. A typical smart home configuration was designed and the data set uh, available uh, publicly. 49 features, which provide a very limited number of flow-based features. Botnet IoT dataset. Uh, this dataset generated using nine commercial IoT devices. Uh, malicious part of the uh, dataset developed uh, using two botnet, IoT-based botnet, Bashlight and Mirai. The dataset consists of one 115 network features, but failed to provide any flow-based feature or flow-based information. And most of the network features are calculated based on some limited number of uh, packet uh, information. These are the only two data sets available in the literature so far to the best of our knowledge for IoT network. A testbed architecture. Our proposed uh, uh, data set test bit architecture consists of a typical smart home environment uh, with uh, two smart home devices, SKT, NGU, EZ, VIZ, Wi-Fi camera. Other devices include laptop, tablet, and smart home. The two devices are used as a vector device and other, all other devices are used as a attacking device. The packet capture was adapted from the link given and we extracted network feature using a CIC flow meter. It is of open source software which you can use to extract network feature from a, a pcap file. So we, pro uh, we adopted a new IoT 20 dataset for anomalous activity detection in IoT network. It is available in CSV format. Various type of attack and uh, different families are available in this dataset as uh, you can see in figure number three, that is DOS, Mirai, main in the middle scan and it has subcategory of each uh, type. It provides large number of gen general features and a large number of flow based feature with and these features are high rank. The label uh, feature of the data set is three folded is can be binary, category or subcategory.
reserved in analysis. We use four matrices to analyze our uh, proposed data set that is accuracy, precision, recall, and F measure. In the first stage, we uh, remove some correlated feature uh, using correlation coefficient of 0 0.70 because the correlated feature degrade the detection capability of machine learning algorithm. There are 12 features uh, removed from the data set uh, for our analysis and it is given in table number 2. After removing um, correlated feature, we used um, Shafira Welk algorithm to rank our uh, feature of our proposed data set. More than 70% of feature rank with the, uh, with the value greater than 0 0.50 as shown in figure number 4. A learning curve. So we use a learning curve um, uh, to uh, show, it shows the relationship between a training and validation of algorithm using various training sample. It shows how the algorithm can benefit by providing more data or the data we provided enough for better performance of the algorithm. So we use, in this case, we use a decision tree and the, the, this uh, figure shows the binary label learning curve. So the blue line representing the training and the orange line representing the testing. So the training curve is converge eight instances of 40,000 while the testing curve converge at 56,000. The, the learning curve for category label converge at uh, 48,000 for training, while it's converged for uh, testing at 70,000. The learning curve for subcategory uh, converge for training model at 80,000 while it converge for testing model at 70,000. So if the training score is much greater than the validation score, then the model probably required more training example in order to generalize more effectively. A validation curve shows the effectiveness of classifier and the data is trained and the efficiency of the classifier to the new data, that is the testing data. There are different hyperparameters that can be used as a combination to improve the detection capability of a classifier. We use a decision tree classifier for our uh, study and, uh, and select a maximum depth of the decision tree as a hyperparameter and a value of 10 is considered. Figure 8 shows a validation curve for binary label. So the training uh, model uh, converge at a depth of 2, while the testing model converge with a maximum depth of 3 for binary label. For category label, uh, the training model converge as a maximum depth of 6, while the testing model converge with a maximum depth of 3. For subcategory, the training model and the testing model converge at a maximum depth of 6. Classification. So we use threefold classification for our proposed data set. That is binary, category, and subcategory. And we we use seven most popular classifier uh, for our proposed model classification. So binary classification uh, classified the data set as a normal network traffic or malicious network traffic. The decision tree random forest and symbol classifier perform very well for binary classification, while these classifier perform poorly for binary classification. To check the overfitting of our proposed model, we use 3, 5, and 10-fold cross-validation tests. And the cross-fold validation tests remain unchanged, which shows that the classifier we use for our proposed data set was not overfitted. 
Category classification, the data set is in normal or any of these four category, a take category. Decision tree classifier perform very well for all take, a take category, while these four classifier perform poorly. The subcategory uh, classify the data set into normal or any one of these a take category. Better performance was achieved for this by decision tree classifier for most of the subcategory classification. Table 3 shows the comparison of different classifier for accuracy precision in recall. So decision tree perform uh, better as compared to other classifier for all of the four accuracy matrices. And random forest and ensemble classifier perform better as compared to SVM in these classifier. Thank you for listening. Uh, it was pleasure being presenting my paper. In conclusion, let me sum up my main, main points. Um, in this paper, we propose a new adopted IoT dataset for anomalous activity detection in IoT network. Our proposed dataset provides new normal and malicious IoT network traffic. Various types of attack um, are um, provided in the dataset. The dataset provides large number of general features it provides large number of flow based feature and high rank feature. In future, we plan to develop and evaluate uh, a framework for anomalous security detection model for IoT network to improve the accuracy of some attack category. We hope that our uh, um, proposed data set will help in, pre in developing new techniques for anomalous detection system for IoT network. For further information, you can send me email. Here is my email address, imtiaz.ola at ontariotech.net. I would like to uh, thank you.